Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for today's makeup tutorial because I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Pastels Mint Collection. This is one of three of her new eyeshadow palettes. I chose the mint because I'm just kind of like in a mint mood. And here's what it looks like. I'm pretty excited to play with this and just talk to you guys, do my makeup. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in so long. It's actually been two weeks since I put on makeup. You know, all this coronavirus stuff. So we'll get into talking about that. But if you want to see my review and tutorial of the new Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, then please keep watching. Okay, today, surprisingly, I'm going to put a primer on. Um, I'm going to do the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I don't know why I'm in a primer mood. I just feel like I need a little bit. Just through here. I have my tinted sunscreen on um, by A Cosmetics, and then I also have my Good Molecule Silicone Priming Moisturizer. So I'm just going to tap this in. Don't ask me why I'm in a priming mood today, but I just felt like a little hot and like, I don't know, my skin's been doing so bad, guys, because since this whole coronavirus thing, um, we basically, for our first round of groceries, just had to get like whatever the stores had and it was not the healthiest things because everyone bought everything out. So I barely got like mangoes, apples, 10 boxes of cereal, um, and like bread. So it was like all carbs. So I've been eating cheese, which I'm not supposed to have, dairy. So I have like some breakouts along here and I also started my period early. So here we are. I'm going to be using my Born This Way foundation in warm beige with the Tati Beauty Puff. I hope that everyone is safe inside and healthy. And trying to stay positive through all of this. I know it can be so hard. Like some days I feel like super excited and motivated and like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like for me, my little routine has been waking up. I just recently started going for a walk every day because my mental health needed it. I was in the house for like two weeks. So I decided that I was going to go to a nice neighborhood where I live where there's like not that many people and go for a little walk in the morning. So I did that I think like four times now. I think I'll be vlogging during this time to kind of like show you guys what I'm doing. So I'll go on like my little hour walk and then I recently started before all of this in the beginning of March. I started doing hot Pilates. Um, it's on Sunset if you guys live here in LA. It's in the Sunset Plaza and I really was loving that. And I had only went like two weekends in a row and then everything stopped. So they've actually been doing workouts um, on Instagram live every single day they're doing like four or five a day which is amazing and if you take them they have like the Venmo of the teachers so that you can try to donate if you have the money but I've really been loving it I've actually been taking the owners classes her name is Shannon she's like amazing I never actually took her class in person I had only had two different teachers because like I said I just went two weekends in a row before all this happened and she's the owner of Hot Pilates, and she's amazing. She has the best energy. Um, so I've been doing her class on live almost every single day, and then I saved some of them in my phone. Like, I did a screen record after they saved the live so that I could do it on my own. So the days that she takes off, I just do the ones I had stored in my phone because, I don't know, I just really enjoyed her classes. Hope you don't mind if this is, like, a longer video. I just kind of, like, wanted to catch up with everyone, and I would love to know what you're doing to stay busy while we're all inside and let me know where you live. I live here in Los Angeles and my husband and I have just been home like everyone else. Um, so we initially did our grocery shop, uh, let's see, March 17th, which was St. Patrick's Day and TT's birthday, my aunt. So shout out to TT, we love her so much. So we did our grocery shop and like I said, we weren't able to find a lot. I don't know how long I've been doing my foundation for, like 20 minutes, but um, we weren't able to find a lot of stuff, like I said, so we basically just had to grab whatever because it sucks, but, like, everyone's mindset was like that. So it was, like, they just grabbed whatever they could. They grabbed as much as they could, so it left almost, you know, nothing. So we had to just grab what was left and also be ignorant and get, like, 10 boxes of cereal because we didn't know if the grocery stores were going to be out of food, like, what we were going to be able to eat, all of that. So we did that, and then last week... Um, I actually placed a Costco order to do same day delivery and I actually got it, which was just amazing. And then we went crazy and by we, I mean my husband and we, um, like threw out all the packaging that we could. We sanitized everything. We washed all the produce thoroughly. So I was so lucky to be able to get that so I didn't have to go to the store. 
but now Instacart, which delivers for Whole Foods and Costco, they're on strike. So um, when we need groceries, I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store now. For concealer, we're doing Born This Way in light beige. Um, I don't mind because I do have some of the masks that I got in January when all this happened because my sister, Sharina, love you, Sharina, um, she's a nurse, so she basically warned us in January and told us like, stay in the house, only go where you need to go and wear the mask, wear the gloves, all that stuff. So like we kind of already had, you know, known what to expect since January, not to this degree or level. I didn't expect this to be like this, but um, I don't mind going to the store. So I'll just wear my mask and my gloves and then I'll sanitize everything, you know, um, like how we did with the Costco order. But I think I'm going to start trying to just like fast during the weeks and do my eating on the weekends because I've been working out every single day. I've been feeling good most of the time. Um, there's some days, you know, where you have anxiety, and you're just kind of frustrated. You want to know like, when is this going to end? And you feel trapped in the house, all of that. Like I have those same feelings. I'm sure you guys are feeling it too. And I'm just trying to get through this the best that I can. Um, I'm trying to be like really positive. Most days are okay, but some days you can't, you know? So like, for example, I've been doing the walk every morning, almost every morning, I would say maybe like four times a week. Um, I've been doing that and I've been doing the Pilates and I was actually just um, counting my calories because since I couldn't get a hold of much healthy food, I decided um, just count my cows so then I'd be around 1200 for the day. Sometimes I went a little over, but just so that I wasn't like in the house, stress eating, you know, just like ugh, gaining more weight and all that. This looks incredible. Honestly, guys, you need this Tati Beauty Blendiful. Like, I just did my foundation concealer with it, and it looks airbrushed. Um, we're going to do the medium dark contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is life-changing if you've never tried it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just was like, okay, I do not want to sit in the house and, like, gain weight. I already was trying to lose weight, and I was doing, like, okay before this, but I didn't want this to be an excuse of, like... You know, I come out of all this and I'm kind of like even further behind to where I was before all of this. Like, for example, you know, if I was at a certain weight before all of this and I wanted to lose weight and work out and then all this happens and then, and then like I gain weight, then I'm going to be, you know, just in a worse place. So um, it's not perfect, but I'm trying my hardest to lose weight during this time. I also said that I was going to be vlogging my weight loss journey for you guys. I have been doing that, but during this little quarantine process, it's been all over the place, but I still am vlogging and I'm trying to lose weight during this time so that when all this is over, like May 1st, hopefully they keep it at May 1st and you know, we pop out the house and I'm smaller than when I went in. Like as if I'm in jail, you know, like you come out ripped and shredded and stuff. Um, I'm trying to have that mindset. <laughs> so. Um, I still will be vlogging the weight loss journey for you guys if I'm like fasting or if I can like get a hold of more healthy foods. Um, I'm going to do a video actually for you guys showing all my healthy recipes that I'm able to make while I'm trapped in the house. So that's coming very soon or it's already out when you're seeing this. I'll be vlogging, you know, being in the house and I'll be vlogging my weight loss if I am making progress for you guys. But, um, if I'm not, those, the weight loss vlog will pretty much continue in May, but... I'm trying to commit to myself and do my very best that I can during this stressful time. And like I said, the days where I'm just not feeling it, I'm feeling anxious and I'm overwhelmed because this is a lot to process for all of us. It's like, you know, I'm going to let myself have a bad day, whatever that means. If that means not working out, if that means, um, you know, eating bad, I don't know. But I just want everyone to be okay during this time. And the thing I worry about the most is people's mental health during this time. So if you are in the house every day and you feel like um, your mental health is struggling, can you just try to go for a walk? I know it's scary because you don't want to be around people, but like, sorry, I was like taking forever to talk and blend. I'm like in a talkative mood today because I haven't sat down and done a makeup tutorial with you guys. I've been doing like a lot of like skincare videos, what's in my shower. I hope that you guys are enjoying the little switch up. I don't want to like bring you three makeup tutorials per week and bore you and see the same thing over and over again because I love using some of the same products. 
So I hope that you're enjoying those. Let me know down below if you prefer makeup tutorials or you like the lifestyle ones or the little switch up of me filming in my bathroom. Let me know down below. I'm setting my under eyes with my Studio Fix and N4 from MAC like I always do. But here's what I do as far as the walk. So if you don't want to be around people, go to a neighborhood, like drive to a neighborhood close to your house. The one I go to is like, you know, half a mile, a mile from me. Um, go to a residential neighborhood where... You know, you know there's not a ton of people. It's not in like a city area where people would be walking through. And just park your car there and put on your timer on your phone or if you have an Apple Watch, a fitness watch, any of that. Put on the timer and just do 30 minutes one way, turn around 30 minutes the other way. But what I do is if I see someone, if I'm walking, I'm walking this way down the sidewalk, right? And I see someone coming this way, boom. I either walk in the street until they pass and I get back on the sidewalk or I'll cross the street, or if there's like a side street, I'll just like hit a right, hit a left, and go up that way and then like circle back. I've just been trying to make sure that I'm avoiding people because I do feel super guilty leaving. I know my husband's like very uncomfortable with it, um, but at the end of the day, I can't let my mental health suffer from this. I had the worst year with my mental health last year, and I just, I don't want to go down a really bad path. and. All of this is just a lot for us, so I really want to obviously take care of my physical health and make sure that I'm healthy, I don't get sick, I don't get anyone else sick, all of that, but I just need to be aware of my mental health, you know? So don't go to like parks or beaches or anything like that because obviously there's going to be too many people in one area and they are closing trails and parks and beaches depending on where you live, but here in LA they did. Um, but just, you know, be cautious. Our health is number one during this time. But that includes your mental health as well. So just, you know, I hope you guys are doing good, taking care of yourself, all of that. I don't really want to, like, talk about it forever. Um, I like to just talk about the positive aspects of things, especially this little virus situation. It's not little at all, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to set my face with the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Luminous Powder in Carrots. Like, I don't want to talk about it because I feel like when you turn on social media, that's all you hear, that's all you see people talking about and it can be very overwhelming it can definitely affect your mental health so i don't want to sit here and have this whole video be about that but i just want to like connect with you guys and check in and you know let you know how i'm dealing with all of it <laughs> like i said some days are better than others but i'm just trying to be as positive as i can stay active and stay productive because I feel like if you just sat there on your phone all day and watched TV all day, the time would go by even slower. And we have another month of this. So we can get through this all together. If you guys want to like connect, you can always DM me on Instagram or, you know, email me. My email's over here or leave comments down below. I'm definitely here to talk to everyone. I brought back the little OG space buns because I did not feel like doing my hair. And I think it's cute and fun and like, you know. This one's looser than the other one, but. So next, what are we doing? What are we doing? Next, we're gonna do our bronzer. We're gonna do our Mac and Me Sun. I'm gonna use my big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab. This is the JH02. So I'm just bronzing up. Make it look like I was at the beach and I was outside when I was not. Guys, the workout I've been doing is like life-changing, the Pilates workout. So I'll make sure that I leave the Instagram down below if I didn't leave it just like come for me and leave me a comment um, the Instagram is Shannon Naj it's N-A-D-J and you can also just go to the Hot Pilates Instagram and you can take that live workout every day it's only like 30 minutes but you will burn like 300 calories and you'll be sweating and you'll be toned just in one week I looked so much toner my arms looked toned my stomach was flatter my waist was more snatched sucked in and my legs like where the IT band was toned hella toned i'm taking hula from benefit and i'm contouring with this let me know down below if you guys have been working out or not and like what workouts you've been doing i know there's so many here on youtube of like at home workouts where you don't need any equipment so let me know your favorite ones if you are working out if you're not that's perfectly fine don't feel like you guys have to be productive you have to work out have to lose weight you have to be active like don't even worry like we're all just trying to get through this the best that we can next for highlight I'm gonna do the Jaclyn cosmetics the flash palette and I just mix all four shades 
Sorry, it's like so dirty. I need to go through and clean all my makeup. I think that's what I'm gonna do, a part of my little um, quarantine vlog. I'm gonna like go through and clean up all my makeup, like with a little brush cleaner or some wet wipes. Clean all the insides, the outsides, wipe everything down. Cause I hate how it looks when I show it on camera when it's like, you know, like that, like all dusty and stuff. So I put it on a little intense because then when I put my blush on, it's gonna blend it out. I'm using MAC Floor Power like usual. I'm gonna use my Smashbox slanted brush for this. And I'm just gonna start here on the apples and blend it back. I don't want the blush to be too intense because we are doing a teal eye, but the pink will help it pop. I'm trying to keep my blush a little higher. We'll make the cheeks pop. So it looks a little crazy now, but it's gonna like sink in and calm down by the end. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Floss Finish Powder in the shade two. And I'm gonna take my Tati Little Blendful Poof. And I'm gonna bake under here. Just to clean this up, make everything look smooth. You don't need to leave it for long. Just wipe it away. I'm also taking the brush that I used to set my under eyes and I like to just flick away here so that this inner part of the blush is super blended. I'm just gonna go over my nose with the powder that was left over from baking just to make sure all the little highlight and bronzer on here is blended. And then you can always go in and add a little more if you need to. But our face is done. Let's set it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, next for brows, we're doing our usual brows. It's the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown and the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. I'll just skip through this since you guys have seen me do my brows a million times. And okay, brows are done. They look a little crazy. They're like not cooperating today, but I don't want to spend like an hour on them. So we're going to move on to the eyeshadow now. I'm so excited for this mint palette. I love these little mini Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. They're just so amazing. I want to do teals, obviously. So I'm going to figure out which ones I'm going to use. I think we're going to go ahead and start with this one in our crease. This is the darkest teal. We'll see how this comes out. Sometimes the mattes in these palettes for like the pastels or the neon ones, they can be kind of like chalky. This one looks okay so far, so we're going to see how this goes. I love that this matches my backdrop. <laughs> so cute. I don't want this to be like too crazy. I just want it to be like super pretty mint. And then I think I'm going to do a wing liner. Obviously we have to do lashes because we have not got our lash extensions done. Obviously we're stuck in the house. We can't. I'm loving the shade so far. So I'm going to do the other side with this. This does have really good pigment. It doesn't seem chalky like some of the other ones from before. I don't know if they changed the formulation or if it was just like a certain color I used. But this is really good. So I do want to put like the shimmer colors on my lid, but I think I'm going to use this one here as like a base first, or I might mix it in with this pastel one and then apply the glitters on top. I'm just going to use a flat brush for this. This is the pale mint color. Ooh, this one has a lot of pigment to it. This is so cute. I feel like I used to wear a color like this like in middle school. Should you guys, if you're my age, hi, if you're like around 30, I'm going to be 32 in a week. But um, if you guys were around my age in middle school, did you do this? We used to take white eyeliner and put on the white eyeliner across our lid and then take like a lavender kind of shadow and then go over the lid. So then like the part that the white eyeliner was on, it was kind of like more vibrant. And then the rest was like more of like a pastel. Did you used to do that? Let me know. That was so funny. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's fine. It was cute at the time. It was on trend. Okay, now that I have this one, I'm going to just take that crease color and just make sure that this line is blended so I didn't lose the depth of the crease. I also really love like these pink shades in here, but I don't think I'm going to use them today for this look. But they would be really good to like, you know, deepen up the crease or just add a little um, depth in the outer corner. So I think first I'm going to do this center shade on the bottom, this glittery one. This is so pretty. This color is really nice. I love glitters. I don't know why. I used to hate doing like a glitter on my lid, but lately I've been loving like a little pigment. I'm noticing like a tiny bit of fallout, but it's not much. And I didn't wet this first. I'm just using my finger. This is really pretty. I feel like they did change the formula because 
these formulas are working a lot better than like the neon palette I used before. In that neon palette, the like matte neon green, it didn't have much pigment. And then I want to layer, let's see, which one do I want to layer? Let's layer this center one over it. I'm going to try to do it just here in the center. That's so cute. So I'm just tapping that with my finger just right in the middle. Could probably put this all over too. I think it's just adding a little more glitter. And then again, I'm just going to take that crease brush and just make sure that color is still popping. So now I'm going to do the bottom and I'm going to take that same crease shade and just run it across the bottom. I do want to do this pretty thin. I don't want this blown out, this turquoise color. Colors like this, they always look really weird until you add your liner and your lashes and stuff. So I might look like a 90s hooker right now, but just be patient. <laughs> okay. I do want the bottom to fine, but I'm just taking a blank brush and I'm blending this color. I'm gonna take a little eyeliner brush. I'm gonna take this pink shade in the corner and I'm gonna just use that right along the lash line to add a little bit of depth so it's not just blown out. You can also use like a brown shadow for this or a black shadow, but I kind of want to keep the softness. So I just want it to be defined along the lash line. I'm going to take this blue one here in the center and I'm just going to put that on top as well. Because why not? <laughs> here we are. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to do the Dose of Colors little pot. It's called Shady. And I'm going to try to do a wing um, and then we'll do our lashes. So for the wing, this is a slanted brush. I'm just going to line up this with the outer corner. And I'm just going to stamp it here. Softly. That way it just like outlines it. Because I hate when they're not even. Now that I have that done, I'm going to just connect it down. So I'm going to leave a little at the end and just go like this. Drag it a little bit with the tip. Okay, we have one done. That was so annoying for me. I just had to like finish it off camera because it was not doing what I wanted it to do. Uh, I'm just darkening this up a little here. I like hate when they're uneven, so you kind of have to like, I don't know, I don't want to keep making it thicker to even it out, but. Okay, let me finish the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play, and I'm going to just lightly coat the top lashes, because I'm going to do um, my strip lashes on here. My eyelashes actually are like growing back from ripping all my eyelash extensions off. They're like pretty much... I would say almost ground back. Um, the texture is a little different. They're not as curly. They're kind of like, you know, but it's fine. The lash extensions are going to go back on. So why bother to make them longer? While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm going to add the shade Cookie from Benefit in the inner corners because I just have to. It's the best. Just a tiny bit. You don't want this look to be like too icy. But I think this is such a good look for spring. If we have spring, like if we're allowed to go outside before it's summer, this is a great spring look. Or just wear this to your couch, make some TikToks, you know. I've been obsessed with watching TikTok lately. But honestly, guys, like, if you can't dance, don't do the dance challenges, okay? I'm just being honest. Like, my niece, my husband, like, they go hard. They're amazing at it. But these other people on here... I see them doing the dance challenges, and I'm like, what are you doing? And the little throw it back one, like, you're not throwing anything back. So, please calm down. Thank you so much. Okay, lastly, we have lips. I'm going to actually use my KKW Mario collection. This is a lip liner, lipstick, and a lip gloss. This is just like a nice nude because we want all the focus to be on the eyes because they are a little bit dramatic. So, we're going to just do a nude lip. Here's just the liner. Then we're taking the nude lipstick. 
It is pretty nude, so you wanna make sure you put the liner all over your lips. If you need to, go over the outer edges with the liner to make sure your lips aren't disappearing. Then I'm just gonna add the gloss on top. And here is our final look. I hope that you guys love this makeup tutorial. It was a little chatty, so I'm sorry if it's long. Um, I really did love the Huda eyeshadow palette. I kind of want to try the lavender and the peach one as well. I think that they look so cute, and I was really impressed with how the mattes worked. This is just a fun look that you guys can do, you know, if you're staying home or if you finally get to go outside or you just want to practice doing your makeup, take photos, look cute any of that so leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought and what you've been up to in this little lockdown so until next time thank you so much for watching